The life of a prophet was no easy thing, but Ezekiel performed his difficult duties with a plum. Ezekiel often acted out his prophecies, and at times that could get rather unpleasant. Other times he used allegories to get his point across. One of only three prophets who spoke from outside of Israel, Ezekiel had been taken away from Jerusalem to Babylon during the second of three invasions by King Nebuchadnezzar, and so he was revealing his prophecies to the Israelites who were already in captivity at the same time that Jeremiah was prophesying back in Jerusalem. Now let's take just a minute to hear the word of the Lord. Ezekiel is in captivity up north in Babylon, and the false prophets keep telling the people they'll get to go home soon, but that's not what God told Ezekiel. In a vision, God had Ezekiel eat a scroll to symbolize internalizing God's words. Then he made a map of Jerusalem on a clay tablet and laid siege to it in miniature. After that, he spent a year and a half lying on a side to represent their years of sin. Like a big game of charades, Ezekiel acted out several of his prophecies. He shaved off his hair and beard and then punished it to illustrate Jerusalem's impending fall. Then he packed a suitcase and dug through a wall in his house to signify the coming exile. Ezekiel also told some parables, one about an eagle and another about two wicked sisters and one about a pot of stew, but they didn't pay any attention. They were being punished for their immorality, greed, and most of all for turning away from God, but if they would just turn back to him, he would call the whole thing off. When Jerusalem finally fell, Ezekiel, like Jeremiah and Isaiah, detailed the downfall of several surrounding kingdoms, Ammon, Moab, Edom, Tyre, Sidon, and Egypt. But not all the news was bad. God showed Ezekiel a valley of dem bones, dem bones, dem dry bones that showed that God wasn't done with Israel yet, and dem bones would come back to life. Finally, Ezekiel laid out a decidedly detailed description for New Jerusalem and a new temple that God has planned for his people to return to someday. Okay.